stop expecting anything from others and help yourself. I would recommend this Dalam class for anyone who stutter or have any problem with speaking because speak is a skill and to speak you must have this skill. I took this Italian class, I became stutter free only after six hours and the results were instantly seen. That's it actually. <laughs>
as if you attempted to write using your shoulder, using your elbow, or any other parts of your body. It's also irrational. Yes, but you have the tongue in your mouth and you feel it. So your goal is to learn to feel it really well and move it in the precisely correct way. So this is your main goal in this classroom. Only after you have learned to pronounce any word with your tongue from the first and only attempt, then you can say that you are no longer a stutterer. Every speaker is like a soldier walking through a minefield. One wrong move and he can give up his life as he always has only one chance to write action. Similarly, a speaking person, one incorrect action, and he can give up his correct speech. So you will have to learn every Etalon lesson only at the great, excellent grade, 100% correct, no less. In the Etalon classroom, there is only one criteria. Either you have walked through the minefield, you said the word correctly the first time, or you have exploded, lost your correct speech. We will assume that you have learned the Etalon program precisely and completely only when you can confidently bet a large sum of money that you will speak for an hour or two and will say every single word correctly and from the very first attempt. We became very good friends. He usually wears black and he looks scary because he has very big eyes and big ears. So I used to call him Satan. Today, when I wake up, I went to the store to buy some vegetables, mm -hmm. and uh, there I came across three of my friends, and I spoke with them very good, and I made only one mistake with the Finnish word. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. And when I came home, I spoke with my father in Arabic, and he was very surprised about the results. I made no mistake. It was a very good speech. Today is the third day. I feel great I can speak without stuttering. In the first day, after six hours, I was capable of speaking without stuttering. And it was very great. And also I could speak in Finnish and in Arabic. Mm -hmm. without any mistake. And then the second day I was capable of speaking even more accurately than after the first day. So I want you to tell the story of your life, which is actually a story of your stuttering. 
because you told me that you started stuttering when you were very, very young, right? Your story is heartwarming. I, even when I think about it, I am ready to cry. I become emotional because I remember what you were when you first contacted me. How many? One or two years ago or even three? Three years, three years ago. Amazing. So, but here is the microphone. You talk. It's your time now. I remember when I went to school, the teacher said to my parents that I have mental problems and they sent me to different schools than others. And you had what problems? Mental? Yes. Oh my God. To my parents. <sighs> Then the teachers sent me to school where there was only people with mental problems. And it was so sad. And when I said to my parents about it, they said that the teachers said that this is the best thing to me. And then when we moved to Helsinki, I got to not normal school, but better than this mental problem school. And there was regular people without mental problems and I like it and then there I had a lot of friends but they were not friends friends yeah. they often insulted me and made fun of me and then after school I didn't go to school anymore because I was so sad and I was afraid of going to school and studying with people and speaking there and so I didn't go to school. I waited till... Where was it you're talking about? What country? In Finland. Oh, it was already in Finland, okay. Yeah. And then I waited till I became 18 and I went to army. And there I suffered a lot because at first the people there were so kind to me. but. As soon as they noticed that I stuttered, they became more hateful and they insulted me and did things. They made fun of me. It was so difficult because I couldn't tell the superior about it because back then I had very, very bad stuttering and even after it. So I just kept silent and fighted there one more and Actually, two times I fight them, and then, then when I got so did you fight them? Did you physically yes. fight? Yes, yes, two times. When I finished the army, I decided that I 
I'm going to take the Italian class because I have enough of this. I decided to collect the money and to go to work and save everything I get from work. And also, I decided to learn English. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't speak English back then, yeah. right? But then my English was so bad, I still remember when my friends made fun of my English. I remember when I came to you, every word you said, I used translator for it. <laughs> I didn't understand anything what you said. I was so confused. <laughs> Yesterday, I looked at our chat in Facebook, back and forth. In three years, we have exchanged almost 6,000 messages. So, after army, I went to speech therapy. Uh -huh. This speech therapy was the best in Finland. Uh -huh. He has more than 30 years of speech therapy experience. Uh -huh. I was confident when I first went there. <laughs> okay. Yes. And after I went there, I was hating it because the woman told me that I have to do things, irrational things, and I didn't like them, like speaking very slowly and uh, to substitute words. Oh God, substitute yes. words. Yes, yes. Oh, what else? Yes. And, uh, did you do breathing exercises by any chance? Yes, yes. Yes, she told me that I have to do work with my position because my position means better breathing. And the more better breathing I have, I speak more confident. And he told that when I speak with phone, I first have to make very good position. And uh, he told me a lot of things, and I did them, and they didn't work. Then I stopped the speech therapy because I had enough. Hussein, I have a question. When you went to that speech therapist, did you have to pay? Yes, I had to. A lot. And but where did you get the money to pay? Who gave you the money? The money I loaned some of them from my parents because I didn't have any. I was just finished the army and I didn't have any money. So I didn't have any other options. I remember that in the middle of my journey for this class, I read about this subject cure, this pill, and its name was Asenapai, and I contacted one professor, doctor, and told him that what is this Asenapai, and he said that it can cure suffering. When I read the side effects, I got afraid of them because they were so severe, they were scary. 
they water so many and this doctor says that starting people have a mental disorder. Our brain doesn't produce enough dopamine or something like that, but he was wrong. We have not mental disorder. We just don't know how to speak. And that's all. Have you tried that pill? No, I didn't. Thank I God. <laughs> See, that's what makes you a rational person. You realize that it's better, even better to stutter than to lose your life. Because <laughs> yeah. the side effect is you're going to be dead pretty soon, but you will lose your stuttering <laughs> when you're dead. I decided to take the Italian class and I decided first to get a job and to do so, I had to go first to internship and because nobody in Finland hired me because of my stuttering, I tried once and I got the job but after one month I got fired from there. And I remember how depressed you were. Yes, I was very depressed. Yep, okay. Then uh, I decided to go to internship and get from their recommendation. And with this recommendation, I could get better job. Uh -huh. So I worked there without salary for four months and then yes it was so hard i was eight hours a day and it was so hard i didn't get money but i was so excited and so determined to get the job but i knew that when i get job i get money and when i get money, I can get to the Dalong class and become suffering free. So I did it, but I was ready to internship for a year or more. And I, after four months, I heard about warehouse job. And there, I, it was a very promising place. So I accumulated everything I got, my papers, my recommendation from internship, and my security card, and my army card, and I went to Inter interview. Oh, interview, okay. And there I showed the employer everything and I told him that I am not good at speech, but I am good at working. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you here need uh, men who work, not men who speak, because this is warehouse. And uh, I got the job. Yes. Yes. What language did you have to talk to them? Finnish? Yes, Finnish. Amazing. This is so amazing to me. You are speaking three languages, Arabic, Finnish, and now pretty good English. Yeah, sometimes you're still not sure what word to use, but you're doing pretty good already. So, of course, they hired you. They loved you. What happened next? Then I worked there for six months. I worked there 
10 hours a day. I was moving stuff from place A to place B. And that's it. You were using your muscles, man's yes. muscles. That was a man's job. Good for you. I was learning English right after I stopped the speech therapy. Right after that, I decided to learn English and I right away started to learn English. And at the same time, I went to internship and I worked and studied English and I did this every day, every day for more than a year, maybe two years. You read the book, the first book in English language, what was it? <laughs> Your book. I bought it as soon as I got my first salary. It's little damaged. No, can you raise it up because you cannot see it? Yeah, show it. I love the condition. Okay, show that all the pages are part of it. I cannot see it. That's right. That's my book. I'm happy to see that it looks this way because I can tell that you did read it. Yes, yes, of course. I took it to work every day when I went to work, I took it with me and read it in when I had breaks there, I read it then and it was very fascinating. It was really good. I couldn't stop reading it till I finished. I read it second time before this class. It teaches you that you can only do one thing at a time and it teaches you what is human being because nobody knows that. It's very difficult to know. But this book clarifies and tells it very clearly. And it's very good. I really recommend that book. You are the recommendation. Your speech is the recommendation. The way you speak, the way you smile, the way you hold yourself now, you have become a different person. Yes. Congratulations. I remember you said to me, stop expecting anything from others and help yourself. And these two sentences, I really believe them and I embarrassed them. And I did everything according to them. I still work according to them because it's the truth. Nobody ever can do things for me. Nobody would put English language to my mind or working for me. Nobody does that. Can someone make your tongue move appropriately? No. <laughs> Nobody, of course. But I want to note something. I didn't do anything for you. I did not. No. You did all yourself. Thank you very much for being a great Etalon student. It's been a pleasure working with you. And I wish you lots of success with your speech and with your life. Good. Thanks very much. I really appreciate your work everything you have done for me for three years when we yeah. first met to this day and I when you taught me how to speak without stuttering thank you very much you have saved my life really and I really thank you from bottom of my heart and I will keep speaking 
in the Talon way, and I won't stop. Okay. I this to myself and to you. <laughs> the main thing that you promised to yourself, not to me. Okay. okay? Good job.